ready to go to Harry Potter World. It is Universal Studios, but it's Harry Potter World. We're all decked out in our Slytherin and Hufflepuff, our houses. So we're gonna have a magical day over there today. This will be my first time seeing Hogwarts Castle, and I am pumped. Yes, <laughs> we're excited to get our day started. We're gonna grab some breakfast, get a lift, and head on over. Yeah, I got the frittata with poblano peppers, side of bacon, and yum. I got the kids Mickey waffle plate because the kids it's basically two smaller versions of the bigger waffle so it's the same size and you get bacon and you get a cutie and a bottle of water that I have for the park later so get the kids but this is what makes coming with a friend even better because you get to split things the best of both worlds isn't that amazing best of both worlds yes <laughs> We just focused our time on the Harry Potter areas because we were only here at Universal for just a little bit of time today before our conference began this evening. Our first ride was Hagrid's motorbike, but you can't take any devices on to record it, but it's the best ride ever. And then we enjoyed the Flight of the Hippogriff, and it has a nice animatronic at the end. And then we delighted ourselves in a nice walk through the castle, enjoying all of the statues and decorations before we enjoyed the ride. You have to enjoy some butterbeer while you're here, but hot tip, go into the hogshead because there was no line for the butterbeer in there. Then after we got off the train, we walked out and we spotted Creature peeking out of the window there. And talked to the people at the night bus for a little bit. trip to Universal we made it back in time for the keynote speaker and thoroughly enjoyed that before getting ready for our Christmas party at Magic Kingdom. Thank you. busy day and we were hungry so we grabbed us a snack over at the spring roll cart and brought it back over and watched a little bit of the stage show with our snack. 
We had a great time riding Seven Dwarfs Mine Train before all the characters started to come out for some meet and greets. And we had so much fun meeting Santa Goofy. He was the best. So during the Christmas party, there's several different stage shows and fireworks. So we tried to make sure to catch everything. So I included a few clips of some of our favorite parts. also dance parties going on and special food that you could get at different places just for the party. And let's not forget all the cookies that you could get. So you just walk up, grab a cookie or two, and either hot chocolate or they had some eggnog at some places or they had some apple cider at other places. So we grabbed as many cookies as we could so we could bring some back to our kiddos. This was the first Christmas party of the season, so we were on the lookout for all of our favorite YouTube vloggers that we like to watch. So we were so excited to meet several of those on this trip. so many snacks already so I wasn't going to buy anything else but I had to just give a wonderful walk through the confectionery. It smelled so yummy. If you check out Paging Mr. Morrow's video about the Christmas party you'll actually see me and Emily walking towards him right before this picture moment. We had to watch the parade on Main Street. It is so beautiful all decorated at night 
and the falling snow just makes it so magical and puts you in the Christmas spirit. Here's some clips of my favorite floats from the parade, but you can check out the full parade on my YouTube channel at Elkins Travel Adventure 8.
we were leaving the park, we saw Molly from Mammoth Club. She has been one of the best YouTube vloggers that we have followed to plan some magical vacations for our family. So thanks, Molly. So the night ended, but we have more to come because we have a little bit more of our conference and Jollywood Nights to go to.